You're now at a point in the sweater where you've finished doing all of the raglan increases and you're ready to divide for the sleeves. So let's see what this looks like. You have finished everything up to here. Now we're going to put the sleeves on scrap yarn so that you can finish knitting the body and the sleeves will be held safely until you're ready to come back to them. So this is what your work looks like now. And I've put it on really long needles so that we could stretch it out as much as possible and have a look at it, right? Okay, so working through this together, this is what you're gonna do. Just like you were before, you're going to work the first five stitches in seed stitch to maintain that border. Then you're going to knit to the first marker Scoot everything around. Remember, I put this on really long needles for this. Okay. When you get to the first marker, you can stop, take that marker out, remove it, in other words, and take a piece of scrap yarn, a couple feet long, so that you have more than enough. Thread that onto a tapestry needle and slide all of the stitches between the first two markers onto the scrap yarn. These are the sleeve stitches. And you always transfer or slip as if to purl, as I'm doing here. Okay. So everything between the markers goes on there where it will remain safely on the scrap yarn. Okay, take out the next marker you come to and then just continue knitting as if those stitches were always right next to each other to the next marker. And you'll see what you have are these sleeve stitches just hanging out there waiting for you to come back to them. Then when you come to the next marker, you do the same thing. You remove the marker, take another piece of scrap yarn, slip all those stitches, zip to purl, onto the piece of scrap yarn, and then just continue knitting until you get to the last five stitches and work those in seed stitch. And next we're going to talk about finishing up the body of the sweater.